We just got to the movie theater. But girl, we have been obsessed with HEB. Okay, it, it's like the store. Again, don't mind the mess. I need your help. I need two of these. Two of these. another vlog I have my tea here I was trying to remember who got us these cute cups that says mr. and mrs. we got them from um, like a wedding gift and I just I can't remember who got it for us I decided to make myself some tea this morning um, it is Thanksgiving you guys I can't even believe that we're spending Thanksgiving without our family this year I think this is yeah this is gonna be the first Thanksgiving that we are not spending with family, which is weird to say and just weird that we're doing this right now without family, but um, I was just talking to my dad. Actually, Junior's on the phone with them, and my dad was like, yeah, it's so sad that you guys are not here, but you know what? We're grown up now. You know, it is what it is, but I know next year we're gonna spend it with family for sure. It's just this year, the way like our move came at the end of the month, by purchasing tickets to fly back within what, less than a week again, it just did not make any sense. So that's why we're spending it this year alone. Well, no, we're not actually spending it alone. We're gonna be spending it with our friends, um, Derek and Joanne and their family. So we're gonna go over their place later on, actually in like two hours. So I do wanna make cornbread. Cause honey, one thing about me, I'm not gonna go to somebody's house empty handed. So I wanna make cornbread. And that's about it <laughs> and also I'm still looking at my home and it's looking a lot it's just looking chaotic it's messy it's I wouldn't say messy it's just everything is everywhere because obviously we're trying to arrange put things where it needs to be so yeah so first thing is first though I do want to make this cornbread with you guys um, so I hope you guys are having an amazing Thanksgiving and I'm very very thankful for you guys and the community that I have on YouTube and all the other platforms um, truly truly am thankful for you guys so let's go ahead and start making this cornbread just get hired from a moving company and help people pack because not only did we get totes I'm gonna show you guys real quick we got some totes and then all the vases all the glasses none of them broke so shout out to you pack but then also shout out to me because how I packed like top tier Let me just show you guys so then I'm able to kind of explain I put everything in totes I bought a lot of totes but it came in handy. It saved a lot of room. I feel like totes are so much better than boxes. We bought the extra large and then we also bought like small and medium ones. Now don't get it twisted. I am not always organized, but for this move, I was like, you know what? To make my life easier, to not have anything break on me, let me just take my time and um, you know wrap everything up. So I got a lot of these wrapping papers from U-Haul. They sell it in like a box of a hundred, but I wrapped a lot of things in there glasses everything is glass sorry juniors on the phone just a quick little hack to help you guys out in case you're moving yeah. this is what i would recommend i'm still living out of, out of our suitcase because we haven't unpacked um and hanged up a lot of our clothes yet but i want to do a quick makeup i think i'm just gonna go with my usual everyday makeup look i don't want nothing too heavy but i also want to look a little bit you know glammed up 
no eyeshadow, so let me not say glam because I just want to do an everyday makeup look. But this Refi um, Sculpting, what is this? Face Glow, Face Primer, Glow and Sculpt. This is so good. It has become one of my favorite primers. Normally, I start with my brows first before primer, but I figured let me just prime so then the primer can set into my skin. <laughs> deleted a footage that is supposed to be inserted in this vlog because I was busy deleting some things in this SIM card and I deleted a footage that was supposed to go in this vlog. So you guys did not see how I looked after getting ready. I don't even know whether I'm gonna even put that clip in there, but oh my goodness. And the worst part is once you delete a clip out of your SIM card, I don't think there's a way for you to get it back. Oh, there's a way where it's too much work? Yeah. Dang. Oh, I'm so, I'm so mad at myself. But anyways, let me try to get myself distracted from that. We, um, it's, it's the next day, by the way. But we stopped at H-E-B. And I think H-E-B is only in Texas, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's, yeah, it's only in Texas. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Let me know if you live somewhere else other than Texas and you have a H-E-B. -H but girl, we have been obsessed with H-E-B, okay? It, it's like the store. So let me just go ahead and show you guys like a quick little haul, why not? First thing is first is a poppy dressing. I love poppy seed dressing. It's probably one of my favorite salad dressing. Obviously we need a ketchup. We hardly have anything in the fridge. And then we just got a whole bag of ginger. Also got soy sauce, but ranch. You can't go wrong with ranch. And then we also picked up just some things to make ourselves sandwiches during the week in case we don't have time to like, at least for me, don't have time to cook. Sandwiches are always the, always the quickest route to go. Turkey breast, Junior loves pepperoni. Salami, ground turkey. Oh, I didn't even know that H-E-B sells my oat milk. Okay, I haven't made oat milk in a while, so this is the brand that I normally grab nowadays because it doesn't have much ingredients, just filtered water, organic oat, almonds, pink salt, and that's about it, y'all. That's about it. The simpler, the better. So if you're like looking to try almond milk or oat milk, or if you already do, try to grab the clean version because you'll be surprised. Some of these oat milks and almond milks out there are not that healthy, so always check the ingredients in the back. I have been that person nowadays, especially with the things I'm drinking. I've been low-key loving this Activia yogurt, so I decided to grab like a pack of 12. I don't think I grabbed a lot of fruits. I did only strawberries this time around. And I also grabbed like five green apples. I figured when I do like my green smoothie every morning, green apples is always the best route. Um, little mini grape tomatoes. These are perfect for if you're making eggs, grape tomatoes on the side, 
mushrooms on the side and what else spinach on the side it's the bomb the bomb talking about mushrooms this is the mushrooms that we have been enjoying um used to love bella mushrooms but not so much so these little guys here are so much better just grabbed a pack of sweet potatoes we got some cucumbers and honestly when i do make myself a salad i decided to just grab these little uh fajitas chicken breasts i can just pop this on a skillet or even in the air fryer and then put it in my salad or I can also I actually grab some uh, tortillas to make myself like a quesadilla also grabbed a bag of chips and I also grabbed um, corn tortilla and also just regular flour tortilla and this one has cauliflower so I'm excited to try this perfect for breakfast or in case I'm making myself like a sandwich so I got us a bag of potatoes I feel like potatoes goes well with everything. Like breakfast, you can eat potatoes. Dinner, potatoes. Lunch, potatoes. Got ourselves a bag of onions. And then Junior got a coconut. I'm surprised there was a coconut in there and it looks pretty fresh. Had to grab some lettuce. Uh, obviously when I make sandwiches. Also got some asparagus because I do want to make us salmon this week for dinner. And I have been loving baby broccolini. Had to grab some of these. I actually got two packs because I felt like one was not enough. Um, and then some green onions and some carrots because I want to cook carrots this week as well. I haven't cooked carrots in such a long time, so I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and just get some carrots. Um, and then we got butter. This mm -hmm. is my go-to butter right now. It's the pure Irish butter. A bag of grapes, another for fruits and a whole bag of tomatoes. I go through tomatoes like so much, it's crazy. So I love bananas, perfect for smoothies, perfect to just snack on and also perfect for breakfast. Got a whole bunch of avocado and then obviously a bag of green apples and then also a bag of green beans. Chicken, I also got some chicken wings and salmon. Um, the best salmon, you guys, is the wild caught salmon. If you love salmon like me, this is everything that we got today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all in the fridge. Speaking about the fridge, let me actually see how my fridge looks like. I think I'm gonna just put all my liquids on top. And this bacon can go in the freezer because we're not eating it right now. Oh, what's this? Also, you guys, when we stopped at Target, decided to get this because um, we needed like some type of sausage for breakfast and this is pretty good it's their smoked chicken sausage again from target so so good This is how the fridge looks for now. All the greens, like this fridge looks a little bit more green, <laughs> a little bit too green actually, but this is how it looks. Went ahead and just put my little weekly magnet planners. I'm gonna link this for you guys. Clearly we're not on September, but this is the last time that I used them. So I am in the kitchen trying to get everything um, sorted out, but this tray right here, my, my silverware tray does not fit this drawer. So I have to make a trip to Home Goods. I need to write down everything that I need, but I'm still gonna keep it. Um, yeah, there's no reason to get rid of it. So good thing I just gotta, I'm gonna just put it in the garage. And then we have all these boards here, Shakuri board, um, just all these boards. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna set it up back here. I really don't want this counter space to have a lot of things. Um, I just want a minimum look and we got the fruits back there and this is not the tray that I'm gonna put the fruits in so I need to also get something that's gonna look a little bit more nicer and this is how everything looks so I do want to show you guys something real quick again don't mind the mess I need your help okay so we set up the couch facing 
pretty much like the kitchen and the dining room. I like it. Um, but here's the thing. The only thing that like kind of bothers me about this is the fact that where we're gonna put the TV. So this is like the only place where we can put the TV because putting the TV right in front of us, that's kind of awkward. Cause we got the dining room over there and it's gonna, you know, it, we're gonna expand the dining table to be a little bit bigger. So that dining table, it's gonna be a six seater dining table. And then obviously I'm gonna get a rug there and then some chairs at the lot island. But anyways, this is like the corner that we're gonna be putting the TV. So here's another way we wanna put the couch. Well, at least I thought this would be a smart way. So we're gonna pull it back here and we're gonna be facing the wall, right? So when we sit down, the TV is gonna be on the wall instead. And I think that will look so much better. But the problem is our couch is so big that it eats pretty much the whole space here. So we, we would probably have to take one piece out. I just think it would just look so much better if it's facing, um, well, if it's facing this side and we're looking at the wall to watch the TV. What do you guys think? So that's what I wanted to tell y'all. What do y'all think? Should I keep it like this or have it face this side so we can be watching the TV um, and have like this area of the kitchen and then behind me the dining room? Because I think this is way, like this looks good. Like it's really given the open space but the only thing that's gonna throw it off is the TV being on the side here. That's just going to bother me. And we are in the elevator, guys. This IKEA is so different from the one in Indiana. So there's like a part one, level one, level three or two is a different level, and then checkout is all the way at the bottom. Girl, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out, but I do want to grab a few things today. So let's do it. We just found the desk. It's literally the same desk that we used to have. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just buy it again. I feel like it's perfect this small because we don't need a big old desk, y'all. We just need something small to put our computer on. We do not have a tray for our silverware, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. We do have this one, but this is way too big. So we need something a little smaller, so this is coming with us. We're also trying to grab like bathroom stuff here, but we're in the kitchen aisle, so let's get what we need for the kitchen. I don't think we need much stuff though. I feel like we have everything. Did we get this already? No, I don't think we got those. Because we got rid of those. We did, huh? Then we need two of these. Two of these. Currently in the toilet aisle and they have just like so many different options on toilet brushes. I kind of like the look of this one and it's glass. Or this one too, I don't know. 
I kind of want to match with the trash can. So whatever one we decide on, I know I want it to match with the trash can. I love the look of white as always. Black is cool. My, you like the white one? But like, does this go well with this white though? Eh. Oh, but this black and white moment. We're gonna get these little um, bathroom trash cans, three of them for three bathrooms. Exactly what happens when you come to Ikea, you were thinking about getting like a few things and now you have pretty much the whole store. <laughs> Junior was like, I seen a big cart, let me go ahead and get it because clearly we're adding up a lot more stuff than what we thought we were coming here for. We came all the way to Ikea so we can get the desk. There's no desk, okay? The only color we like is the white one. They actually do have the same desk, but in black and brown. Um, so I'm not gonna settle for that. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and order it online. But we also looked into this one, but we don't want this part. We actually prefer just the pure desk, you know what I'm saying? We just got to the movie theater. Joanne was kind enough to get us VIP tickets. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. All right, so y'all, this movie theater is so nice. Like, so freaking beautiful. So nice. Oh, I just love. <laughs> 